guys, Andy here. Now, you may have seen earlier this year, I uh, reviewed my first Xiaomi. Um, I quite liked it, it was it was a pretty good device, uh, although I could feel that it was a bit of a budget uh, phone. But I've seen a lot of talk about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 2. So I thought, I'll give it a go. I'll see what this one's like. Um, you know, a lot of people are singing its praises. I've got this for about, I think it was £117. I've had to pay another £18 import tax or imports duties to uh, DHL. And there it is. So the first thing you might have noticed, the box, as with other Xiaomi products, like the, the, the action camera I got as well, it's just a plain cardboard box with a little me in the corner. So that's very much the same. I didn't really look at the back, but it's it's not, we're not going to, I'm not going to understand a great deal of that. Uh, you can see there it is the 16 gig version though. Um, just for, let's drop that out. Uh, initial impression, it feels nice, it's reasonable weight to it. But let's have just a quick look what's in the box. Now, they sent me, I got it from AliExpress, they sent me this look. It isn't particularly going to be any use to me, uh, unless I was travelling to Europe, but you know, I'm sure... It's micro USB for charging. I'm sure I've got a micro USB cable knocking around somewhere. And just in case I don't, I'm fairly sure that's micro USB cable. That's the actual... I guess it's under there, is it? Yeah, I can feel. I'm not going to bother because I don't need that, so I'm going to leave that all as is. There's a good chance I'll be selling this phone on. It's unlikely to replace my uh, my Note 5 as my device of choice. How was that? Was that sideways? There we go. Sideways. Fits in nicely. Um, what else? What else? Okay, so that bit's going to be the... I'm going to tear it. Come on. There we go. The instruction manual. Uh, two, oh, is it dual SIM? Is that indicating? It, of course, runs MIUI, version 6 in this case. Okay, we're not going to need those unless I can learn Chinese in the next few minutes. Oh, I've got two of them, look. Two of them possibly is even less useless than one of them. Or less useful, sorry. Double negative. Uh, okay, that's that looks to be... So that's just a little... A bit of this, that seems like quite a lot of wasted space then. Did I miss something? Anyway. There we go. So that's the that's the box dealt with. Let's bring the... The red... Uh, Redmi Note 2 back into... Is it on the back? I don't think so. So it looks very similar to the... I can't remember what the one was called that I had before, actually. Uh, the 4, 4 IC. Oh, I can't remember. Um, I'm just going to put it next to my Note 5 as a size comparison. They look very much the same, actually. Wow. Wow. That, that's... Uh, I need to look up the actual dimension. I'm just going to turn this on while we're... So that it's booting. Well, I think I'm going to turn it on while... Have they sent me a phone with zero battery power, or have they sent me a dead phone? That'll be that'll be interesting. Um, so obviously they don't look that similar on the back, but they are a very similar. Mind you, not that the Note Five is going to be a good gauge for any of you guys, because it's probably you know you probably haven't got it if you're in the UK like me. I had to buy it from Canada. So uh, speaker at the bottom, camera at the top. That's a 13 megapixel shooter. The secondary camera up here is a 5 megapixel, can shoot 720p. The rear one obviously can do 1080p at 30 frames per second, but that's the that's the highest it'll go. Let's try once more with the power. Right, so we may have to stop briefly while I try and charge it. Um, as we've seen, the charging port at the bottom looks like it's the microphone right next to it. We've got what I assume is the power and the volume. I, I guess I'm pressing the, the power. Can't be anything else, really. Um, I'm not sure what that is at the top. Might be a microphone there for the noise cancelling. Is that an IR blaster? And obviously the the uh, microphone jack. Red buttons. Capacitive buttons at the bottom. So, I guess we'll have to pause while I uh, plug some power into it and see if it will boot up. So, I'm back. And I felt a little bit silly. 
Although, you know, I unbox a lot of phones, you normally can turn them straight on. But I've just taken the back off and noticed that look. Because I plugged the charger in and it was just vibrating. It was zip, zip, zip. And I thought, what on earth? You know, vibrations in that sort of in a pulsing manner. I thought, what does that mean? So I started Googling. I Googled uh, that it wouldn't turn on. Nothing particular was coming up. And then I just thought, well, let's just double check. So I look at the battery, and sure enough, there's that weird uh, that bit of tape. There we go. Me.com. Let's give it a quick. Already we've seen it gets quite, quite greasy and dirty in a very, a very short amount of time. You see there, it's at the bottom in very small text, powered by Android. So, uh, as I said, it's going to have MIUI uh, version version 6, I think. On their forums that I did, one of the links went to when I was trying to see what was wrong with my phone. It said version 7 is on its way out. Uh, it is coming out soon. thought I could feel it. Maybe I thought the back wasn't on properly for a second there. Slide to unlock, and here we are. So, again, very first impression is that's that's nice and slick. Now, because it's um, MIUI 6, it, it's, they, they basically copy the iPhone. I mean, I hate it. It's all my icons are on. I don't know how iOS users cope, to be honest. Um, all your apps are just scattered around on different screens. I want an app drawer. I want my widgets here, and I want an app drawer. So we'll have to uh, have to get a different launcher on there. Oh, I should probably connect to Wi-Fi. There we go. Is that is that on? Uh, right. Give us a second, or hopefully it can connect to my five G version. One moment. So there we go. We're connected now, and it has connected to my five G. My new. I only <laughs> only got it working about an hour ago, if that even. And I've got a I've got a notification on on the themes icon. Let's have a look what. Now, there's one thing I need to perhaps see if I can change. How do we get to regular settings? There we go. Um, it is at least this bit in English. I'm sure somewhere, and maybe I shouldn't waste too much time right now. Oh, there's a load, there is loads in settings. I seem to remember this, this uh, being the case with the last one. Um, and I can't, there's no search. Actually, I've actually got really used to having a search on the settings page. Um, where's where's the locale going to be? Can anyone tell me retroactively? Can anyone travel in time watching this video? Maybe in like a few weeks' time, you're probably screaming at the screen, Andy, you dozy bastard! It's blah blah blah. blah. Uh, yep, turn on. I don't particularly necessarily want to. No updates available. Good. So that just you can see there, the version that I'm on. Um, so you see there look as well some of the. Some of the details. So it's the Redmi Note 2. It's, it's based on Android 5.0.2. Uh, it's an octa-core 2 gigahertz processor. It's got 2 gig of RAM. Um, whoa. What happened? Or are we getting an update? No, maybe not. Now, have I got the Play Store? I cannot. Yes, I do. Right, so it's going to want me to log in again, isn't it? So again, bear with me while I log in. So I can tell you, I, I maybe didn't want to select it. I, I hit the old, yeah, keep this phone backed up. It might try and install all of my apps now. Um, so I can tell you, it feels, I mean, you, perhaps you saw, oh, was I on camera? Perhaps you saw that, how quick and easy the keyboard was. Um, what the hell this? Uh, prob probably not. Um, let's say no for the moment, because I would have thought. I mean, that's <laughs> that's pretty. That's my new router. Do you see how fast that was? <whistles> oh, what happened there? Oh, open it. Did it? Did it just open that automatically? Um, I have totally forgotten what I was saying. It doesn't look to be installing every single app I've ever owned. Although I'm not quite sure what that is. It's the thing spinning at the top there. Oh, that's not good. Look, I've got adverts in my bleeding drop-down notification. How do I? 
Mm, I think I, I don't know if I <laughs> don't know if I should have put my password into this device at the moment. I think what I might have to do, I don't know, is maybe look for a ROM rooted and, and stick a stick a uh, stick a safe ROM on. That's a bit of a worry that there's there's an advert. Searching for GPS. Um, okay, well, we'll see. I guess I'm the guinea pig here. But we might want to bear that in mind. AliExpress, I've got another device on the way from them. Um, I'll seek some advice on uh, on the on the internet to find out how much in danger I am of these uh, of this particular Chinese ROM on here. Um, I think, I'm, was I saying how quick and quick the keyboard was? So, very early impressions are quite impressive for... Uh, well, okay, let's let's call it 135 pounds. It's it does so far. Performance seems very good. I mean, I guess why not? That's that's a respectable score. I mean, okay, my note scores up over 5,000, but I, I think that matches my Nexus Six. I think I might be wrong. I'd have to double check because my memory is terrible. But I think that matches my Nexus Six, which is a very good. Oh, here we go. I guess we get some comparisons here. Look, mind you, I don't particularly want it on. Here we go. So better than the S5, in fact, better than all these devices here, look. Surely it can show me some that are a bit better than that. Can it not show me the S6? Oh well, okay. Um, so that's a reasonable indicator. Better than the S5. The S5 is a year and a half old phone, the S5, I suppose. So it's not... Um, only 37% left in my battery, look. Um, so, yeah, that's a, that's a bit of an indicator for some of you. Uh, the battery is a 3060 milliamp hours lipo battery uh, i will obviously be be testing that whilst using it i guess the other thing we want to check is going to be the camera and probably the speaker so let me bring in my little android fella so we can see here we've got let's turn hdr on flash is flash is off i think that's fine how do i get other settings what's that up there Oh, that's turning the camera. Hello. Um, turn it back around for the moment to save you all. Looks like it's got. See that on the edge there? I've got. Where is the different dots? I can't. Oh. Oh, okay. So we've got funky. Funky filters. Regular. Okay. So let's have a look. So I'll turn. Right. So I've just gone on to manual. Is that correct? I believe. I don't want to be necessarily. I was just oh, okay. That, yes, yeah, so that was me selecting menu. Let's come back up again. Scene mode, beautify, timer, panorama, gradient. So there's a few useful bits there. Then the actual settings. Uh, I do actually. I like grid lines. You should all use grid lines, and I'll perhaps give you a very quick camera lesson if you're lucky. Press and hold is burst. Yep, yeah, good. Standard frame four by three. Yeah, okay, four by three. Picture quality. Let's go straight up to high. Age, oh my goodness. Show age and gender when beautifies. Oh my word. We'll have a crack at that in a little while. Maybe not on the video. Don't know if I want to embarrass myself when it thinks that I'm 70. Um, so that's camera. I didn't. I was hoping there might be like some kind of video. Oh, maybe I've got to switch on to video. But that's going to sure, that's going to start videoing. Oh no, it's video mode. So I guess, can I... Right, okay. Then we've got settings for video. So I do seem to remember it doesn't necessarily like the like the photo. It doesn't necessarily start off in the best. Okay, it's in HD. That's oh full HD. There we go. See, don't I? Ah, uh, yeah, right. I remember that. From, I think it's from the last Xiaomi image capture. Can we do that on full HD? Apparently we can. That's come, but I want to go back to. It's a little bit shame. I do like when there's that you can film by pressing a button. Let's move him a little bit further. Let's see how quick the. Uh, Uh, it's a little slow. It's doing a bit of computer. So that's HDR. Let's try HDR off. That's a lot quicker. I think there was a very visible difference there. Um, should we have a go? Long? Let's 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 just see. Is that? Is that? Oh. So. Male. Oh my God. Male. Thirty-nine. Thirty-three. Yeah. Oh. E. Oh. Forty. Uh, Forty. That's actually quite impressive. I am forty. So that, I'm quite impressed that it, it did work out. <laughs> I, need to, I need to try that on some other people. They probably won't like it. So, uh, but that's a pretty quick, excuse me, that's a pretty quick camera, actually. 
Um, is there anything on here now that I need like a radio app really, don't I? So, not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. Probably good enough. Obviously, I'll do my usual sound test. I'll do all my usual video tests, head-to-head, sound tests, etc. So, obviously, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, I realise... Did that just beep at me? Oh, okay. Locking and... Is it loading now? Look. Yeah. So, I'll need to try and work out what's going on there. That's not good. We can't have full screen pop-up ads popping up when you're trying to use the phone. Really not good. Um, but generally, I'm really impressed thus far. Uh, subscribe if you haven't for any future updates, and uh, obviously the review will come shortly. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.